Hey there, this is Jenny with Real Food Glow. Today I'm going to show you how I make my meatloaf. Stay tuned. So the last time I made meatloaf, I took some footage of it knowing that I wanted to put it on YouTube and show you how I get some vegetables into my meatloaf hidden from my kids. So let's take a look at the footage and I'm going to walk you through it at the same time. Here we go. I use avocado oil here, but coconut oil or olive oil would work just as well. So I start with the red onions. I'm gonna put them in there, cook them for a bit first to make sure they get nice and soft. Now you can use just about any vegetables in, in this recipe, you just need to saute them until they're soft and let them cool. All right, so now I'm adding the yellow squash and um, then I'm gonna add my zucchini. So other good options for vegetables are gonna be tomatoes, bell peppers, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, just about any vegetable will do. You just have to make sure that they get soft. All right, and then I'm gonna throw in a bit of salt and pepper as well. Okay, so now we're moving on to the protein part of the meatloaf. Right now I'm adding three eggs to my one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground turkey. After this, I'm gonna toss the cooked veggies in. All right, so there's egg number three. Here come my veggies. Just pile those in, just make sure they're cool so that they don't start cooking that meat too soon. And now seasonings. I've got salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and then I've got some oregano, and I always add a bit of parsley, and now some black pepper. Okay, here comes the fun stuff. I'm using my hands to mix everything up really well. Now if you're squeamish about touching raw meat like some of my girlfriends are, just keep some of those medical grade gloves on hand and put those on. I have many friends who do that. All right, so I'm gonna get this all mixed up nice. After that, pour the mixture into your meatloaf pan and use your hands to shape it into a loaf. Pat it in nice and tight. You're gonna cook it at 350 degrees until a temperature probe inserted in the middle reads about 165 degrees. It typically takes about one to one and a half hours to fully cook and you'll probably have to pour the extra grease from the pan about halfway through cooking. So I hope you enjoyed watching how I make my meatloaf. There is a link down in the description box for my blog post that includes the whole recipe in a printable format. Make sure you explore my blog while you're out there. You might find some other stuff you're interested in. And while you're here, before you go, go ahead and subscribe right down there at the bottom of this video so that you can get any other great content that I put out that you might be interested in. I really appreciate you watching. Make it a great one.